Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today it is raining outside and I'm kind of glad because the last two days in a row we've had snow. So for the last couple of days I've been working on expanding the bonsai area. So you can see it used to end uh, somewhere about here and I've kind of extended it and we've always had this pond we put in a long time ago. It was just covered in uh, this dogwood bush growing here. So I've kind of started working on that, dredging the pond and fixing it up. So that's a project to come in the future. I don't want to make it too fancy. I, I want to spend time on my bonsai trees, not making this a fancy bonsai garden. So, so I, yeah, I've relocated uh, my studio. Let me just take you out here. So the studio where I do, you know, my film work is kind of at the end of this main pathway going in. And before I used to enter over on this one, kind of coming in this direction and now I come in straight in here. So I've kind of rearranged the benches here on this side. So, you know, all the trees have a little more room and they need it because they're getting larger every year. You can see, uh, you know, the buds on the trees kind of were coming out. But, uh, you know, with the cold weather we've been having, not much is happening. You can see the elm is even trying to come out here, but it's just too cold. So, so that gives me a little more room. I have to clean this area up. Uh, you can see the cement blocks down here. This is where the tables go in the summer for my when I bring my tropical trees out because they're kind of in the shade of the greenhouse here and it helps them adapt and also under the shade of the big Manitoba maple here my shade tree so I can work on uh, trees in the when it's sunny out I've got a bit of shade here and this has been clip and grow this tree right from the day I moved in so you can see it's I don't know got some nice branches on it. I uh, I pruned way over here. We had this tall pear tree here and I thought well if it gets too much taller you won't be able to reach the fruit. So I went up, I got the, set the scaffolding up and I pruned the top of the tree off. I probably pruned oh I don't know three or four meters off the top of the tree. It was uh, a little scary. I, uh, I used the handsaw. I didn't want to get up there with a chainsaw. Strange things can happen when you're pruning trees. Limbs can swing down and knock out the ladder from underneath you. Or, and if you have a chainsaw, things can, things can turn bad quickly. So it's always best to leave it up to the professionals when you're doing any major pruning work. I also, on that shade tree, I cut all the top branches off. I'd let them grow because the base of the tree got attacked by something. I don't know if it was a beaver, muskrat, or rabbits, but they chewed almost ring the entire trunk the one winter. So I was letting it grow and gaining strength to repair that wound. And I've been piling compost and stuff up at the base of the tree, trying to keep the chickens away from it. So you can see down here how the tree really got ringed really badly. So it's repairing slowly now. Hopefully that'll do well in the future. The larch, the needles on the, this tree always comes out early compared to the others. They're just starting to show and the rest of the trees are catching up now. You can see it has a bit of a green, you know, touch of green all over the trees. So that's looking good. My other one too, which I've got to go in and prune up this apex. And I think, I think that'll be the first job for today will be to get this other larch pruned up. So let's go into the greenhouse now and start today's work in the bonsai zone. I'll head outside now into the rain and get the tree. There we go. 
My goal for today with this tree is to try and balance the vigor of the tree. So normally on a larch, the apex is very dominant. It, it uh, likes to grow like crazy at the apex and these bottom branches will get weaker. So I've got to take vigor out of the top by reducing all this branch structure down to a minimum. And I've got to let the lower branches grow more freely. I will be doing some pruning overall on the tree, you know, sorting out these lower branches, but generally my main goal for today is to get this apex pruned back. Otherwise, if I let it grow the way it is, I would get this, you know, a bulge at the top of the tree, an inverse taper. All my upper branches have become thick and coarse. So I want to keep it light and delicate in the top of the tree and kind of, you know, balance that, that vigor overall. So when it does extend all these new shoots, I get the same amount of extension as at the bottom of the tree as I do at the top. That's the goal anyway. I'll give you a close up of the top of the tree and you can see I have some thick branches here that I'll need to reduce back. I've pruned them back and that's, you know, the result was more branching coming out from the trunk. So I can replace, I can replace all those thick branches with some of the thinner ones just to keep the top of the tree as I say light otherwise you start getting really heavy branches in the apex you know the same diameter as some of the ones down below so that's what you don't want you want to keep it light up top and the heavier branching generally down below here's a close-up look at the apex of the tree so I'm trying to my goal is to remove the thicker branches and replace them with thinner ones I'm trying to pick my central apex and I think it's this one back here. So I can probably remove this thicker one that's forward. So I'll come in with my branch pruners and I'm going to go as far back on this branch as I can, right to here, like that. Now you can see I had this weird branch coming forward here, so I'll trim that one off too. And I wonder if I can even get that a little more flush. I think I can. If I come in here, get that branch out of the way, like that. That's a little better. So that got rid of that one thick branch. Now in my apex, I want everything pointing upwards. So I don't want this one. It's kind of crossing across the center apex, so I can get rid of that too, like that. I've got a thick horizontal branch down below that I can remove, so I'm going to come in like this and take that off, like that. So I've still got this big kind of bulbous branch here, and I wonder if I can get rid of that totally. I don't know. If I get rid of that, then I'll have no branching. Like there's a double, if I come around this side, you can see there's a double kind of thick, the remains of a thick branch here. If I were to prune that right away, I wouldn't have much branching in that area. I'd have to rely on this one coming out front or maybe one out the back here. That apex is getting quite heavy. I I'm going to have to do something. So I'm going to take at least the first part off here. See how it looks after that. So I'm gonna try and take this one right back here to here. Here I go, like that. So I got rid of that one on the front, but the, I still have this thick one out the back here. I can do some cleanup on that one. There's kind of a some stubs up top and around the back here, there's a fairly thick branch coming out so I can get rid of all of that. So I'll come in here and I'll take it off. I'll have to maybe do a couple of cuts here like that. So that got that a little lighter looking. It's not you know, real graceful on flowing, but it's better. I'll take these branches back. I may remove them later, but I'm going to take them back to the first set of buds for now this one too there's another stub i can remove here like 
that might help that branch flow a little better so it's not so I can take this one at the back back shorter like that now I don't really want these ones pointing downwards I'd rather keep this one that's kind of going upwards at the apex so I'm going to remove these lower branches that'll take some vigor out of that branch like that so I don't know I'm, I'm not very happy with it it's it looks very awkward this big thick part here I'm wondering if I'd be better just to get rid of that whole section and then maybe develop you know one of these as a side branch or you know those branches I can have another look at it yeah I have to get rid of that you can see that these upper branches these two here they're thicker than the ones down below and it just looks very awkward so I'm going to get rid of these totally so here I go like that Does that look better? Looks lighter in the apex, that's for sure. And then I think I've got to get rid of the one on the one side. Now this one is a, I may be able to keep part of it because if you look from this view, there's a double branch, two side by side. The one at the back here is thicker. So if I get rid of that one, I may be able to keep the other. I'm going to get rid of this one branch that's in the way here that's kind of cascading. And then I'll come into the base of this thicker one and get rid of that, like that. Let's see from the front now. That's better, but it's still a little thick, but maybe we can still fix it up more. I will bring this one back to here. This one back to here. I'm going to get rid of this one up here. And then I'm going to come in and try and clean this up a little more. Just kind of make that pruning cut a little more flush. Like that. Now, let's have a look at that. So, I still... I said this was a double branch, but it's actually more of a triple branch because I have the little one out front here. Just trying to get rid of that one piece there. And then I have one behind. So I definitely want to get rid of this little branch. Clean this up a little bit more. And then I may want to get rid of this back one entirely. But let me have a look. I think I'm, I'm going to try removing this upper part. You know, even though I want these branches to come upwards, I may have to do it further out. I, I have to get rid of this big, bulgy upper part here. That's gone. That's looking better. And then I can shorten this one to here. Get that branch out of there. Shorten this one to here. So that one branch is dividing into two now. Get rid of one below here that's dead. It's a little piece. So, there's the front view of it. Definitely looks lighter in the apex. I've got to cut this one back. This one back. Actually, I'm going to remove this whole branch here. Like that. Prune this one back. And this one coming towards the inside, I'll prune that one off. And I'm going to leave it at that. I could prune these two branches off but and keep this upright one, but I'm going to leave it at like that for now. Just when you do heavy branch pruning in the apex area, you never know. You know, maybe you've cut the lifeline to one of these branches, so it's better to have a backup and then prune it off later on once they're they're coming out all the needles okay so i want to get the apex pruned up so i'll shorten them these shoots back and this one to here 
Let's back it a little further. Uh, it's got the apex pruned back. Uh, I want to prune this one back. That one's okay. And this one can be pruned back. So that's looking much better. Doing this work on the apex, pruning it back, it, it's pretty tough to do. Um, you're doing a lot of cutting, but it's the only way to keep the larch kind of delicate at the top. Otherwise you get these big, thick, lumpy branches like you saw before. And it's an ongoing battle with larches to keep them light and delicate up top. It's something you'll always be fighting to do because they just want to grow up near the apex. They're just epically dominant. So now I've got my apex pretty well pruned up. So I'm going to work my way down the tree and the pruning will get lighter and lighter as I go down. And I, I want these large branches to have sort of a main branch structure and then these little ones coming off of it. So it's pretty well there. I just have to do a little bit of cleanup on them. I'm looking at this branch. There's one bud here and one bud here, so I can't really take that back any further. There's some buds over here. Can't do much in that area. This one's already pruned up really nicely. This one, I've got a branch kind of, well, two branches here, sort of going in the same direction. And this one comes off 90 degrees to this trunk, so I'm going to prune it back, and I'm wondering if I should remove it totally. But I, I won't, I'll keep some growth on that. I'll take this one back. And there's a dead portion back here I could remove. Guess that part died off last year. Just trying to get this cleaned up nicely. There. Uh, this branch, I can take this part off. I've got some shoots back there. Um, dead section here. I can remove a stub from last year. Take the apex, the apical butt off there. Can't do too much more on that one. This one, I can definitely prune this one back. I got some buds way back there, here. I've got this branch kind of goes underneath this other one, so I'm going to I'm going to take that part, this part of the branch that goes underneath this one, I'm going to take it right off. Like that. Kind of redirect this branch more out this direction. Which I know is still kind of underneath this one, but I can probably direct this one in this direction in the future and this one more out here. So we're moving this part of the branch. Take this one out just to clean out that inner structure a bit. That's about all I can do on that branch for now. There is one down below I can prune off. Get rid of that one. So that's looking okay. Uh, these branches, they're kind of weird, this branch. I've got, it comes out here and then it goes in a Y shape. Yeah, that's kind of, I think, you know, the ideal direction of that branch would be out this direction. So I'd probably want to keep probably this one as my branch leader. So I'll prune this one back to here. There's some good buds back there. And this one, I don't want it growing underneath this one, so I'm going to take this shoot off back to there. And to encourage this one to grow, I'll reduce this one back a bit to here. And that's all I'll do on that branch for now. And in future, I'll clean this up, getting rid of this whole section here and growing this as my branch. So now I'm working my way down to this branch and... It's looking okay. It's getting a little fan-shaped, like my hand, instead of kind of one leader to the branch. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of correction on that without taking all the ramification off. I'm going to prune this one back to here. Take that stub off there, and there's a bit of a stub there. So I've got kind of a 
I've got kind of one growing out here that's a little too fan shaped so I'll take that one off and reduce a lot of these branches back It's easy to grow a large branch longer. You just let it grow. But to keep them short and compact is a little more difficult. You have to take, you know, you have to take some, do some cuts. I'm going to take this section of this branch off. I've got kind of a part that's growing in a good direction. And this one's getting a little too fan shaped. It's spread out too much. So I'm going to take that part of it off like that. And then I'll clean that up a bit like that so that makes it a little more the branches more directional instead of being that those silly looking fan shaped branches at least I think they look silly okay I think that stub there I can remove I think that's got that branch pruned up it's about as much as I can do for it today so the next branch I'll work on is this one here. Um, again, it's getting maybe a little too fan shaped. And I would, this branch kind of comes off the trunk and then it kind of bends down towards the front. I think at one time something got pruned off here or died off or something. So to make this branch a little less curvy looking, I'll probably develop this part of it and maybe someday reduce this part of it down so it looks more like it's coming in a radial pattern off the trunk. So I'll reduce, I uh, take this one back to here. I'm trying to get it to grow more like this direction. So I don't want this long leading line coming off this direction. So I've got to prune it at some point. I'm thinking way back here. I'm going to prune it here, leaving a bit of a stub for dieback. And then later on, I'll go and prune that flush as this develops. That makes that branch look better. It's a little less directional. I'll take this one back to here. That'll help that too. And I'll take this one off to here. So now the branch looks like it's eh, coming in a better direction off the trunk. So I, I think that one's got it pruned up I don't need to reduce the length of it too much it's it's not a bad size I could take maybe some of these few buds off the tip maybe that's about it uh, the dead part there Use that one back tip off here I think that's about all I want to do with this branch for now I think you know it's a lower branch you got to keep lots of vigor in it so now this brings me around to this branch that's being pulled down a bit just so it matches the angles of the other ones when viewed from the front so again on this branch I've got it comes out and it divides into two and then I've got this weird branch that kind of turns back on itself don't think I want that so that is going to have to be removed like that And then I got a bit of sorting to do out here. It kind of looks like a pom-pom branch where everything's coming out in one spot here. So I'll prune. Um, there's a stub here I can remove like that. Um, there's one kind of, uh, another stub I can remove here. I was gonna say there's one kind of growing back, but I do kind of want that chaotic look at the base here, so I'll keep it. Um, so I've got kind of three branch apexes here, or tips. I think I've got to take this thicker one off here, like that, and that keeps me, you know, dividing from one to two, and these other ones are kind of small. They don't really do too much harm at the moment. I'll try and prune that a little more flush here. 
Come on. There. And the other branch here, this other side, isn't too bad. Reduce this back to here. Um, I could reduce this end off the branch. It's kind of straight with no taper, no movement. I'm just going to look at the profile. Yeah, that can come right off, so I'm going to do that. Like that. And that's not too bad. I've, I've got kind of a crossing branch here. I'll take that part of it off. Like that. And I think that's got the pruning done on the tree. I'm just going to take the tip off here. Yeah, so let's have a look at it now. Here's an overall look at the tree now. This is uh, the present front. This tree looks quite good from the front and the back. So I'll spin it around. So that's the front. And here we come to the right side. There. And we're coming around the back now. So there's the back. It looks quite good at the back too. And then coming down to the left side. And back to the front. I'll give you a close-up look at the apex, all the cutting I did. So let's come in here. So there's some of the major cuts there, which you can't really see from the front. Yeah, so some pretty ruthless cutting at the apex, but you have to do that. Otherwise you get this you know, really bulgy, thick looking apex. And so back to the front. So here's kind of the front of the apex. You can see it, it looks a lot lighter and more delicate than it did before. And that's what you want your apex to look like. You want it to be light and airy. And all the thicker branches will be down below. Here's a look at the root base now. Let's have a spin. So here's from, you know, my my present front. And as I go around, you can see the roots are getting really rough and gnarly looking. I like that. And there's kind of the back, and I really like that root on the back. The whole back looks really rugged. It's not a bad view for the tree. So, I don't know, maybe depending on what mood I'm in, maybe if I like the rough, rough and rugged look, I I'll pick this as the front and, you know, if I'm feeling more serene and that, I can pick this as the front because, you know, it looks good from both directions. I'll get the larch tree back onto the bench so it can grow for the summer. And I'll have to watch all these shoots in the apex that they don't get too long. I'll have to keep those pruned back and kind of let the lower branches grow longer. It's time now for today's update. Today's update is my Manitoba maples. They're a native maple to Canada that I collected from my front garden last year. And these trees just grew in the ground all by themselves. I, uh, I kept the tops pruned, but I never pruned the roots, which was a big mistake. And uh, so I collected them from the front garden and two of the three trees survived. This one out front here died. But this, the two here have done quite well. Now on this one, the whole top of the tree is dead and that was dead when I collected it. And this one is probably, probably going to be my best tree. It has a nice base. All the top here is alive, I think. Maybe not that branch, but up to here is alive. No, this one, this one's alive back here. So, and this one's alive, so. I have, you know, living tissue up to about this point on the tree, so that's good. I've got a basic tree-like structure in place. Today I want to prune all my long branches back. I let these trees grow for the entire summer last year to strengthen the root system and gain vigor to survive the winter. And today I'll be pruning these long shoots back, the ones growing, you know, these big rocket-type branches that are shooting skyward. I'll prune them back to get the trees a little more compact 
for this year's growing season. All right, here I go. On this tree, I've got these shoots coming up and I've got a set of buds down low here. Another set of buds, 90 degrees to the first set here and then 90 degrees to that up here. So I've got to pick a point that I want to prune this back to. And I think these buds down here look really good. They're nice and strong, so I can prune it right back to here. And I'll leave a bit of length for dieback, so I'll prune kind of in between my nodes here, halfway. Halfway between my nodes, so here I go. Taking that part off. And you can see the leaves are just starting to come out on this tree. This one I've got a strong bud on the top here. The one underneath is a little weak looking. So I think I will, it'd be too tall if I took it back to here. So I'll have to take it back here. Again, halfway between my nodes, like that. I just noticed that at the back of this tree, I do have a living branch coming up here. So that means this tree is living up to this point. So that's enough enough of a trunk to get a nice looking tree out of this in the future so that's good so i'll just prune this one back and i'm going to just prune it off there's a good shoot coming out here so i think i'll take it back to here like that yeah take a bit of some of the dead branches off here like that so i've got my living part here now we'll come around to the other tree, this one here. I've got some buds down low here, so I'll take this branch off here, like that. I've got buds up here, so I'll take it off here. And I've got some good ones here, I'll take this one off here, like that. I've got some good strong buds here, move that part. And back here, I'll take it off here. Just like that. So that's got the two living trees pruned up. And I can probably just let them grow again for another season. So the root base gains strength and uh, get them ready for repotting again the next spring. I'll zoom in now so you can see some of the bark and some of the details on these trees. So they get quite a nice bark on them. You can see that. They're a fast growing tree. I don't think, you know, they're a, they call them pioneer trees. So generally a pioneer tree, which is something that grows in an open field first, grows in poor soil, uh, can survive harsh conditions. Usually those kind of trees don't live that long. But we'll see on this one. It's got a quite a nasty scar at the back there. Um, well, I can see there's a whole dead section up there on the tree. So yeah, definitely not a, a clean looking trunk on this tree. It, it'll never be like a classical maple, I don't think, but uh, lots of character on it, that's for sure. And this one too, there's that living, living branch at the back. So again, wow, big scar there, whole dead section there. So these are the kind of trees you don't do much with. Um, I would never remove this dead section up top here because, you know, it looks like an old maple tree that's just barely surviving. And uh, that's what I want in future is just to maybe, you know, develop a few branches, but keep all that dead wood. I think, uh, you know, that's the value of this tree is that it, you know, it's barely surviving. We'll get them healthy, but they'll always look like trees that are on the edge. That's all the work I'll be doing today on this cold, dreary, rainy day. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>